If some of you saw a video I did the last time, which is about three weeks ago now, it was about um, I was going to do my wife's uh, jewellery um, website, but I kind of find the images for that. I know I always tell everybody to back up their work and that, and I usually do, but I've, I've lost them somewhere. So for now, that's going to be on the back burner, but I am going to do one, and this is going to be something to do with uh, photography and graphic design. And the most important part of a web website is the start of it. And if you can get that and nail that, that is the most important because you're, you're on your way then and things get easier. So where I, how I always start the site off is by drawing it out. And it, you can be anywhere, you know, about if you've got two seconds just to have an idea. It's always good to have a pen and paper by your side. And I know you, there's all sorts of mock-up tools and all the rest of it, but the cost money... This doesn't, and on here, it's, um, uh, if you can see this, it's uh, brand slash logo, then you have uh, underneath nav bar. Then you have like on the left, text, etc. cetera, um, pics and images on the right here. Um, I haven't decided totally where it is, but it's just to get the thing started. And at the bottom footer. So this is going to be a 12 column where it says brand and logo, as is the nav bar as is the footer, but the other one is going to be seven and five, I think, is a, is a good one. Never six and six, because that's just too too central, and, you, and as anybody would tell you in art, if you see things or photography, um, it's never things in the middle. You've got to have five and seven, or three fours, or something in this 12 column. So, anyway, we'll go to Bootstrap Studio, and here we go. So the first thing is is to do, I know I'm also doing this because there's one or two of you have, have asked questions about, um, you know, about like sort of things like media queries and uh, thinking that it's, it's about length as well as width. It isn't. It's about purely it's a width thing. The length is controlled by something else. So... And also the, the thing is, is that in sites and every, probably every web designer at some point in their career, and especially early on, will have trouble by the text going into the footer and all this type of business. And that is so, so common. And I've done it a million times myself. So anyway, I know, I know about that. So anyway, column, if we just put into the search bar here. And we're just going to put in a column and... Just pop this in here somewhere. Where's that gone? Sometimes pop a lazy in, it's it's quite difficult anyway. Right. Supposed to have a little arrow to tell us where it's gone. Oh there you go. So there's the first one which is going to be the logo brand. I still haven't really thought about that, but that's it's pretty unimportant that part. And again, another column. And we just go there where the arrow is. Okay, so that's the nav, nav bar. And so the other thing that is on the uh, picture here about the text and the pics, which is going to be different, which, which is a seven and five uh, one I'm going to use. But the, the column is a still a 12. So you have to have things, I've, I've said this before and a site I've done um, a, a while back, but anyway, people are new to the channel and things like that. And you have to have something like four threes of 12 or three fours of 12. And, and as long as it comes to 12, you're all right, okay? And so the next one, I'm gonna take it as a space. So this one's gonna be a space. All right, so, but the next one, this is where we're going to have a different one. So we're going to uh, have this one row, two columns. Just popping that in there. So this one here is going to be seven and five. At the moment, it's six and six. And we go down a bit further. And in here, it will be footer. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is have a space again. So these spaces are really helpful 
to pad the thing out. If you keep going margin and padding all the time, your site becomes really messy. And usually, you know, you can get really confused yourself what you're doing. And if anybody else comes to the site, you know, a different web designer, it's very hard to actually see what someone else is doing. And uh, a lot of web designers won't take someone else's work on. So you've got to think of these things. Um, and, the la and there's your, that's a spacer. And I'm going to use another spacer on this one. So just put that there. And then the last one is going to be the footer. All right. So we have the just go up there and just bear with us a minute because I always find these scroll bars on Bootstrap Studio and a lot of modern stuff very very difficult to use. I don't know if anybody else is the same, but that's that's just me. Um, so here on this one here, I'm going to put a, a nav bar in there. So we we'll just go to the search again, and what have we got here? And I'm going to put this. Uh, just going to put this one in here. So there, that goes there. And I'm going to build this up through videos because I'm not actually got the time to, you know, go and do an hour's site, and I'm sure you get bored with all that as well. So in here now, we've got this column. And we just go on the left, convert to HTML, and edit code. So we have, we have the, I'll just go in there, zoom in there if possible. So there's your six, and what I'm going to do there, see if I put in you would have 14 so it will go to the next line oh I can't kind of because that's that's me zoom function I'll just go back in there and I'll do that as say a nine and I'll apply that there if we come away from that you would see that it has now again I'm having trouble with these scroll bars so now you see that there's your empty column and there's a one underneath. So it hasn't stayed on the same line and we, you want that to stay on the same line. So we just go back in here and so you can see the code I'm using. So I'm going to use the seven and I'm going to use five. And that's going to apply there and that's going to come to the 12. But as you see on there, as you see that's not just you know it's not equal and I don't like equal it's it's like a golden rule in art and stuff like that you just don't do equals and now what I want to do is put in this is where a lot of people will go wrong in their you know at the beginning of their design career and stuff like that so I'm going to get a lorem ipsum okay so here we are with lorem ipsum so it's a ton of lorem ipsum here just to prove that pattern and margin is not the way to go when you're doing the site. The first part of your site is so vitally important. And it cannot be stressed hard enough. You know, it's really, if you get that right, you know, you, you're really on a, a winner there. So if we just go Control V, right, apply that. Now, if you look at this, it won't be quite the same as what it will, will be in a browser. Um, again, I'm on struggle with this, uh, these scroll bars. And I'll just try and preview it in Opera. Right, preview options. Oh, and in browser. And, uh, yeah, so here it's here it's coming, loading. 
I've changed it to Opera because not many people use Edge, I don't think. Right, so you've seen this now. It doesn't look very much because the other uh, columns haven't really been, I haven't got anything in them. So now, if we go to this, oh dear. Oh, I'm really struggling with this. I'm really struggling with this scroll bars. Um, I even asked Bootstrap Studio whether they could do something about that because oh, it's such a fiddle. And uh, now we're going to go to a footer. And I like footer dark. I mean, you can, you know, you can put whichever colour you want after a while. And hopefully that'll go in. Hmm. Let's just try that again. All right, there you go. So we go back to Opera and it refreshes by itself. Right, so if we see that now, there is nothing, it doesn't matter how long that lorem ipsum is, it's not going into the footer, all right? And it won't do it in whichever you go to mobile, it won't do it there, won't do it on big TVs or anything like that, okay? So that is how you manage your pattern and things like that. That is the correct way to do it. And I've never, when I've done it in my own websites or, you know, for people and that, never had a failure doing it. I see it as a foolproof method. Um, you know, if somebody has seen a flaw with that, I mean, please tell us, because it's it seems to work for me every single time by doing it that way. Now, if you go into this column here, and we go to convert to HTML and custom code here and edit code. You see this here, this is the pattern, this is the one that I'm trying to pad it out with. If you put in, say, style equals and just this is demonstration, you can do whatever you want, but I think you should have a pattern, a pattern column there. So it's background, color, and you can be anything you want, okay? And I'm just going to put in color light, which is F90, which is orange. And I put in hello there or whatever you want to do okay so if we go to opera now you see that pattern okay when you see this pattern you can do whatever you want about it it's um it's one of them things you can use opacity which is a really good one and if you used opacity so here so it's like uh Opac opac opacity and say 0 0.5 and again we just wait there so in, in real life what I'm trying to say is if you put more opacity in there it will it will be you won't you won't be able to see it so it's a good way to pad something out and plus the fact is you can do opacity. Um, this is something if you're watching this and listen to that and try it yourself, um, I can help you out with that because it can be, it's, it's a technique that I've used many times before, but it does take a little bit of a, it's a bit of a challenge to do. Um, so for now, that's about where I want to be with that. Um, so, again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.